dearest how are you today so today i'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely black and white fascinator it's actually a crinoline fascinator and in learning it you're going to learn how to make crinoline leaves you're going to learn how to make loops different types of loops and round it all up to make this fantastic black and white crinoline fascinator to be making use of uh, these feathers that I made from fan feathers. I think I showed you before. You can check the link below. This Alice band. Then we have our. Uh, um, this is not the stiff. This is a non-stiff um, crinoline, and the measurement is three inches. Yeah, three inches. Okay, so I have some pieces left over that I'm going to be making use of. You stay so you know how many you would need, how many inches or yes. Then this is the thick crinoline, and it's two inches okay and i have some pieces left over you get to know whether i used all or not and then i have this white crinoline and it's measured one inch okay this is almost thick sort of but i think probably it's not so thick like that it's just in between yeah then we have a measurement tape uhu gum scissors ensure you iron out all your crinolines before you begin so if i didn't measure iron out this first one but do that the first thing you want to do is measure 12 inches from the non-stiff crinoline okay so i'm going to be cutting off that piece over there that was excess but that was not included in my 12 inches and this is the first loop i'm creating like so so you fold it into two and then you sew you see how it's flapping and not forming a right shape that's because it was not ironed so if you wanted to come the loop to come out looking perfect ironing out okay ensure you put a cloth on top and you iron all the tips and tricks you find in my crinoline masters class there's so much so you place it like this can you see how i placed it the loop is standing sort of not lying down and then this alice band has like a material sewn on top so what you do is you use that material to sew it to your crinoline keep watching and learning okay the next thing you want to do is cut out another 12 inches from the non-stiff crinoline and you're going to be forming a loop with it like you did in the previous one but this time around when attaching it on the alice band you're going to attach it flat the opposite direction keep watching and learn let's take note of the placement of the crane line right now on the alice band Now this time around we're going to be making use of the stiff crinoline and we're measuring out the same 12 inches same process is going to be followed but follow the placement of the crinoline on the alice band keep watching and learning let's take note of the placement of the crinoline right now on the alice band Now I want to make the leaf. So first of all, I want the leaf to shoot out a bit from that place where I'm placing it. So I'm measuring it like that to know the length that I'm going to be cutting it at. So that's where I'm going to be cutting it at now. After I cut, I checked the measurement of what I cut out and it was 8 inches. So if you're using everything exact, then you make it 8 inches. Now let's make our leaf. So the first thing you want to do is take one of the edge and you sew it together like so. Keep watching and learning. And you do the same to the opposite end. As you can see, my crinoline line is not straight and that's because I didn't iron it. Nepa actually had issues and I don't use um, 
gen for my iron but i was able to iron the later part the white one that one would not have circled if i did it this way keep watching and learning if you're gaining value from this video so far please do give me your thumbs up and you can proceed if you haven't subscribed to click the subscribe button and then you click the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos thank you now you sew your leaf to the top of the other cleaner line that was flat keep watching and learning Then I wrapped up the edge of the um, leaf with white bias since I'm making it a black and white crinoline fascinator. And I measured another 12 for the stiff crinoline and folded. Let's take note of the placement of the crinoline right now on the Alice band. Then for the whites, I started ruling it up to the measurement that I wanted, sewed it together, and then sewed it to the headband. And that's what I did to the other two. Keep watching and learning. Okay, then I took my white bias and wrapped around the part that has been sewn 
then also use um, some flower trimmings to cover that to make it look more beautiful keep watching and learning And I stop my feathers in remember if you want to know how I made these feathers you can check in the description or probably I'll leave the link above also it's at the start of um it's on one crinoline that I put it in That's how I made this lovely black and white crinoline fascinator. Now, if you want to know how to manipulate fascinators and come out with lovely, beautiful designs, you want to join Crinoline Masters Class. And starting from today till 3rd of July, you can have it for half price. Contact me first. And also check out this next video on another crinoline fascinator.